Hello, everybody. I'm Lindsay Moppert here with Vic Carucci. Now, Vic, it's been a little while since we've gotten to talk on here and kind of discuss a few of the breaking subjects. Even though it's the off season, there's still some some things to talk about and discuss. Um, so first, I want to start off with something not necessarily new, but again, we haven't been on here to talk about it. Uh, the Bills promoting Eric Washington. Honestly, pretty that's a pretty significant move when you think about all that's happened in the offseason so far with Sean McDermott obviously taking the reins of the defense without Leslie Frazier. So tell me, what do you think this move, what was the real reasoning behind this move and, and when you're thinking about Sean McDermott also taking over the defense now? Well, I think it speaks volumes about Eric Washington, the respect that he has not only from Sean McDermott, entire coaching staff, but especially the players and especially those defensive linemen that he's been guiding. They speak so highly of him. They feel that their careers have been helped greatly by him and will continue to be. But now Sean McDermott is putting him in a position as assistant head coach of having a stronger voice, frankly, in the defensive scheme, in defensive signal calling, all that goes on that Sean has taken on now as defensive coordinator. He is going to have a, a real strong set of eyes and ears in Eric Washington. Right now, another subject that you and I had kind of talked about a little bit more on the recent side of things, Hall of Famer Bruce Smith uh, spoke with the Buffalo News not too long ago about Von Miller. We all know how optimistic Von is about his recovery time and when he'll be back. He said no later than week six, but you know, what do you think that says? His advice, you know, he talked a lot about patience and how Von Miller won't possibly be the same Von Miller out on the field if he doesn't give it the time that it truly needs. So what did you take away from that interview? I think it's sound advice from Bruce Smith, number one, uh, because he's been through it all. And as a Hall of Famer, he knows that the only way to be effective is to be at your physical best. So he wants that for Von Miller, obviously. But it's understandable that Von feels this great sense of obligation to want to get on the field as soon as possible. He was talking about week one uh, and no later than week six, but his body is going to dictate that. He is being paid more than $51 million in guaranteed money, so he knows there is an accountability for that. But he has to take it, I think, slowly, and carefully to make sure that when he is out there, he can stay out there because he has history with multiple uh, issues and surgeries on his knee. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, you know, as we've all heard Vaughn many times, week one, uh, when initially he had the injury, he said he was going to be out there in possibly the next week before he actually found out that he tore his ACL. So um, we'll have to see how that all works out. The last thing that I wanted to discuss with you today, um, so throughout the the Stefan Diggs kind of the, the drama a bit, uh, whether it's through or whether they're still working through it, the one thing that has kind of come out of that is through the non-mandatory OTAs and then, of course, day one of the mandatory mini camp. Without Diggs being there and and you know having those reps, the number one guy you're giving the opportunity to some of those newer guys, maybe the rookies, one of those guys being Trent Sherfield. Now, do you feel like he's going to have a, you know, everlasting impact on this offense come the fall? What it, What's your take on Sherfield so far in the offseason? When the Bills signed him, I, I saw him pretty much as a guy who could provide some solid depth for a team that I, I think is in really good shape uh, if not great shape, at the receiver position. I know there's been a clamoring to upgrade it, bring in DeAndre Hopkins, but I think a Trent Sherfield can have a solid role, and maybe even more than that, if you go by the comments that Josh Allen made about him. Josh was highly impressed, not only, I mean, he talked about his effort uh, and all the intangible things that stood out to Josh, but he also you know, like the fact that the guy was making plays or at least was showing the, the ability to be an impactful player. When that's coming from the quarterback, that's a big deal because it instills confidence in him. So regardless of what happened with Stefan Diggs, the fact that Josh Allen 
noticed Sherfield, his effort, his production, and made a point of, of, of talking about that, that tells me that he has the quarterback's attention, and guess what? He could be catching some footballs from that quarterback. And surely we're going to be seeing that in less than a month now, uh, you know, at training camp in Rochester once again, and Vic, I'm sure you will be there and I will be there. So uh, we will keep you all updated on that. But for now, I'm Lindsay Moffert here with Vic Carucci. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next.